Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be um, adding a um, stats button. So basically what it'll do is you'll click a button and then it'll show you all your stats. So basically for now I'm just going to make it so it shows your wins. But in the future um, I will probably and most likely add something where it like shows your coins and um, other things. So yeah, let's get right into this. Oh, and also... Um, uh, I am trying to get to your guys' requests um really quickly because a lot um there's been a lot of requests so I'm just going to the old ones so that I can get these done and then I'm gonna work up, up to the new ones and yeah. So there might be a few videos coming up today, hopefully. I think. Yeah. Okay. So um let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a screen UI to start a UI. And I'm just going to name this stats because it'll show you your stats. And let's just add a image button so that they can click a little image. And that'll look pretty cool. Um, let's just do a few things. Let's make the board size pixel zero. I mean, yeah, zero. Make the background transparency one. And let's just change up the size a little bit. So, where is these? Okay. I am going to change it to like, um, uh, 0 by 40 by 0 by 40 and let's just see so this is the corner uh, that looks pretty good um then uh I actually searched for a little bit for a good um image so um this game will be linked in the description below so you can grab all this stuff for free nothing to it um and yeah I just uh, searched for a little bit to find this so here you go. If you guys don't want to have to go here, you can just look at that. There it is, right there. Okay, and um, it just looks like that. I mean, it doesn't look the best, but it was pretty good. Um, and yeah. So I'm just going to name this button because it makes more sense that it is named button, not image button. And um, then let's just add in a frame so that we can just put this to the center and then Hmm, how big do we want this, I guess? Uh, maybe 0 by 400 by 0 by 200? Actually, yeah, that's like perfect. Wait. Hmm. We might... I don't know. Yeah, I think 200's good. Yeah, okay. So let's just work with 200 and yeah. So now let's add in a text label and let's name this wins because it's going to be the wins. And then um, what we're going to do is let's just make, actually let's just leave the size, make the border size pixel zero and make the background transparency one. And then um, let's just... Uh, um, do text scaled and um, put this wins colon because it's going to show the wins. Then nice cartoon feel is always good, so let's put that to cartoon. Let's put the font to cartoon. Then let's just add a um, text uh, label here and let's name this um, value because it's going to be its value. And let's just move this over here. Actually, you know what? I think. So look good about maybe 15 away from here. Yeah, okay. And um, if you want to know how I uh, just looked, if it was that it was 15 away, um, I will show you. Uh, this thing right here says it. Um, it's kind of hard to read. Um, but it says it. So basically just look for 16 and go to 15. Looks pretty good. I guess, and, um, oops, okay, so now this, we can just, um, scale this, like, to here, actually, I, I think we might need a little bit more room for win, oops, I think we might need a little bit more, did not mean to do that, uh, control Z, okay, um, yeah, okay, so let's just scale that back a bit, maybe to, like, 185 or something. Actually, wait, no, we, uh, 
Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, we can do this. Let's just do that. Then let's just uh, put that there and scroll it over to here. Okay. So, um, now we're just going to add a few little things. Let's make the border size pixel 0, make the background transparency 1, and then let's just scroll down to here, text scaled, and let's just put this to 0 because by default it should be 0. I'm just going to put it to cartoon because you should like that cartoon feel. It's really nice. And then this text X alignment, put it to left so that it's right at the edge of um, wins. So that um, looks actually pretty awesome. Um, to me, and uh, I'll link this plugin in the description below. But um, it's just a little um, uh, roundify plugin, not that special. It just adds a little effect to it, and I like it. So I'll put I'll link that in the description below. Um, but yeah, so now we actually have to start scripting it. So basically, it's not going to be that hard. All, all we're going to do is we're going to add a local script. Same it con uh, control controller, and um, then let's uh, start scripting. So first thing that we're gonna get is the button. So we're gonna say local uh, button is equal to script dot parent dot button, and local um, frame is equal to script dot parent dot frame, and uh, local wins is equal to script. I mean, uh, not script. Um frame dot wins dot value and then I think oh wait no we have to get the player uh, local player is equal to um game dot players dot local player okay and now we're just gonna do uh, one last thing before we get into the um nice part so we're just gonna do button uh oops uh but button dot mouse mouse button one click connect function oops function and we're just going to say um it's out of here uh frame dot visible is equal to not frame dot visible and that's just saying like if it's uh, if the frame's invisible then when you click it it'll become visible and if the frame's visible then if you click it then it'll become invisible okay so now what we're going to do we're going to say while wait do and what we're going to say in here is um wins dot text we're going to set that equal to player dot um values dot wins so um that should be uh it if i am correct um so my wins are at zero it works i can open and close it also i don't even know what the what? Wait, let me see this. String Oh, okay. Um, what we have to do is uh instead of dot wins do um dot wins dot value because if you don't do that, then it's just gonna get the wins thing. So that's not a string. That's a oh geez, how do I have thirty four wins? What the heck? What? Oh jeez, um, I think that's probably um from uh having to test this. So then it goes up to thirty-five. Oh, also um, uh, something to make this a little look a little bit better is we can do um uncheck reset on spawn. So what that will do is um make so that when we spawn, it will not just um automatically uh stop it. So let's just run. Okay, so we're here now, and um, let's open up this up, and see, it didn't go, and now we're at 36. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, it didn't take me too long to make, but I will be um, making, uh, well, I will be doing your other requests, so um, stay tuned for that, uh, and yeah, I guess bye guys, I'll see you in the next one, bye. Ah, I can't turn on. Okay. Bye.